Hello there, it's Hilly from SevereWeatherTV.com with the Severe Weather Outlook for June 10th. So what's happening at the moment? We have what is now the name storm Christina in the Eastern Pacific. In the North Indian Ocean, we have 02A, who is going to be future Nanauk, or however that's pronounced most likely. And in the Pacific Northwest, or the Northwest Pacific, we have a medium chance of tropical cyclone formation. In the United States today, we have as high as a 30% chance for severe thunderstorms, 15% tomorrow, 5% the day after that. So this is the map of the cyclones at the moment. So over here we have Christina, Christina, who is predicted to become a hurricane in not too much longer, but luckily moving away from land. Here are some satellite loops of Christina. And per the Servicio Meteorológico Nacional in Mexico, they are expecting... Very strong to intense rains for some areas and strong rains for other areas from this system. Over here, well actually let's, we'll go over here in the general view. Here is tropical cyclone number two. Here's an alternate view of it. So this thing is, this is the JTWC path here. And they are predicting that this thing is moving towards Oman, the coast of that. However, luckily they are showing it potentially weakening right before it might make landfall. And this is four days out, so of course the path could change, things could change. I was not able to find any meteorological information yet for Oman. I don't know if they're covering that storm yet. Here is the current satellite loop. So this thing is predicted to reach, I do believe, the strength. I believe when it roughly, it should get a name at some point. Soon-ish. I, I forget where exactly the threshold is for this basin where they put a name on it. But if this does get a name, this would be Nanauk, if that is how it is pronounced. So this thing is predicted to be moving towards the coast of Oman in the future. Obviously something to keep an eye on if you're out that way. Over here, per the JTWC, medium chance of tropical cyclone formation. They've been having a general area where they've been monitoring things off and on for the past several days, but nothing has come of it as of yet. So that is what is happening there. Here's some models for Christina, and I'll see if I can get some models for Omen tomorrow to show possible visualizations of what that might look like and where it might be going in the future. In the United States, here is an overview of the severe thunderstorm threat for the next few days. Here's what's happening at this very moment. Apparently, we've got 24 severe th or 23 severe thunderstorm warnings and one special marine warning all the way down out over there and then the 23 severe thunderstorm warnings all over the place so new feature i bring this up i'm not gonna hit the button because it's a really loud noise it's really disturbing but right now the audio alerts they alert on anything doesn't matter if it's anywhere near like if you're tracking a location or something doesn't matter if you're in it or you know nowhere near it it will still play the alert sound filtering is coming in the future Oh yeah, and if you enable the voice thing at the same time, as of right as of right now, they play at the same exact moment, so they just, you know, clash, talk over one another, whatnot. In general today, here's the map showing the probability for a tornado, 5% chance for this area, 2% all around that, 2% back here. Here's the map. This is where you have the 30% chance for the severe winds, so that'd be winds 58 miles per hour and greater, and a 15% chance back there, 5% over there. Here's a map showing the prob probability for one inch or larger hail. 15% there, 5% over there. Tomorrow, 15% chance for this area, 15% chance over there, and 5% down there. At least as of now, that's what they are forecasting. They being the Storm Prediction Center. So here's some websites for more information. Yes, and that is it for today. And have fun.